Now, I just had to share this little clip that I uh, taped from our local news. These two adorable little babies showing love to one another because they have not seen each other since the pandemic started. And I just think this is so beautiful. If you ever need a little pick pick me upper or to be encouraged because you're going through something, you know, that's why I decided to show this in this video today because I think this is so touching. When I first saw it, I teared up. I said, oh my gosh, this is wonderful. This is so beautiful. They're so cute showing love and they're probably saying to one another, I love you, I love you. They can't talk. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I am busy as you can see. Uh, I don't know why I said that, I'm not busy. Well, I am busy. I'm in a hurry to go to my physical therapy appointment Woo. for my uh, my heel. I didn't tell you guys, but uh, the doctor told me I had I I've been experiencing well I've been experiencing some pain in my heel, real bad, real you know sometimes excruciating and other times just extremely very very painful and the doctor said that uh, my x-ray results showed that I uh, the foot shows uh, plantar fasciitis and I don't know have you guys ever heard of plantar fasciitis it's very very painful heel pain the test also indicated that there is bone bone spur so um, I'm going to be seeing a podiatrist soon and he or she better not mention anything about surgery because nah, that, that's not going to happen. I don't need surgery and uh, no. And I'm also getting physical therapy like I, I'm going to show you guys later on some of the exercises you know that they are doing with me. And I can't show you everything because some of the things that they do to me are on my stomach. And um, I don't know if they would be comfortable with me filming, you know, because I don't have to show them. Well, you know how some people are. Some places may not want you to. I could ask, but, you know, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable to show. I mean, not to show. I, I don't mind showing you guys things but I don't know if I'm comfortable asking the physical therapist you know if I can film because I just want to show what they're doing Ooh, make this light good I just want to show what they are doing to me I don't have to show their face you know some people are just like that they don't want to be seen and I respect that you know I don't even know if filming is allowed but I am going to show you guys some of the exercises that um they are helping me with, with with this band that I can stretch my plantar and it stretches the foot and it's supposed to strengthen it up and everything, muscles and all that stuff. But anywho, also they told me to get a it's a splint, a night splint that they want me to sleep with at night. Oh boy. Now that does not sound comfortable at all. Anywho, I'm back. I had to adjust my phone because while I was talking, the phone dropped and was showing all of me. <laughs> so I don't like to show too much of my body. <laughs> I know that's bad, but uh, mm, it is what it is. Okay, I hope that's bad. I hope you guys can see me, but I don't know where what I was talking about before I had to switch positions of this phone mount in my car. But anywho. Um, trying to find some lip gloss for my lips because there's some chapstick. But anyway, I didn't ask you guys how are you doing. If I did, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope your day is going good. I like to go to physical therapy with some something on my lips. I mean, because I feel so naked. <laughs> I do. I have to have something, whether it's chapstick, and I wanted some lip gloss, but. I'm always taking out my stuff and putting it away when I get home. 
Mm. Oh, this feels so good. This is Cherry Cherry Chapstick by Avon. And uh, it feels so good. Mm. But anyway, um, I got to try not to be late because I have to be there at 1.30. And it's 106 now and I've got to get on the freeway for a hot minute and then get off and then do the street service for about 10 feet 10 15 minutes so by the time I arrive there I'm gonna be really pushing it jumping out of the car oh boy so I'll try not to fall <laughs> oh speaking of falling I didn't get a chance to share this with you guys this is not related to the heel pain or anything I've been having but I fell about a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago, whew, I was coming in the house through the door from my garage, and I had some clothes on the on the ground. And um, to be honest with you, I, I heard a noise, <laughs> so I got scared. Okay, and it was nothing, but the noise just scared me, and I, all of a sudden I just darted through the door forgot that I had clothes on the ground and that made me kind of like lose my balance and trip so as I opened the door instead of opening it up carefully the way you normally would I bammed through the door I mean I banged through that door hard and the door flew open on the wall that my, my son's um, his room is right there at that wall so the door went bam <laughs> so instantly he woke up jumped up out the bed came into the hallway my husband jumped up came out and <laughs> something like oh my god <laughs> i had fell i fell on my side and my knee was hurting my my left knee my right hip and my toes I really thought that I had broken four of my toes because it was so much pain I could not move an inch and I was just moaning and groaning <laughs> and they asked me because Aaron was still sleepy and you know he wanted to go back to sleep but he wanted to help his mom but because of my joint conditions and I have to get up kind of like on my own there's certain times where I don't need help or I don't want help when I fall. It's because it doesn't help. I need to do it a certain way myself. And that's hard to explain. You probably don't understand what I mean. But the wall was right next to me. So it was better for me to, to hold onto the wall versus having someone pull my arm up or lift my arm up. Because sometimes when a person is doing that, unless they can get me up under the rib cage, um, I feel like I'm gonna fall again I get kind of nervous so I'll be like no let me let me do it myself let, let me try it myself I just felt more secure with me grabbing onto the wall and just kind of like walking the wall up with my hands you know and I struggled like crazy <laughs> and they just stood there and stood there looking at me. it looked kind of funny no one was saying anything they were just looking at me and my husband being a stronger man you know he wanted to help I said no babe I got it um, I didn't want to get their help because of what I just explained to you. And my husband knows, you know, the difficulties I have, you know, with my body and my joints. So I had to do what was necessary for me. Um, not that I didn't want them to help. Don't think I didn't want help. It's not that. It's just because of the nature of how I felt. I, I needed to do it myself. So. so anyway, I got up and I just dusted myself off and I was just like, whew. Let me go sit down for a minute and get my bearings. <laughs> and then Aaron went on back to sleep. He said, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm all right now. But, oh, boy. I mean, that door flew open. Bam! Up against his wall. <laughs> I can laugh about it now. <laughs> it was just the way the door flew open. Boom! <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm not laughing at the fact that I fell. That's not funny. It's the way that door <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh we laugh about it now sometimes when i talk about it <laughs> but anyway i'm on the freeway now and um 
I'm just going to be on the freeway for about maybe three or four, well, anywhere between two to five minutes. So I have to get off of this exit, a couple of exits up, and then take the street services. So I, I do believe I'm going to make it. It's now 1.10, and I have to be there at 1.30. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go because my phone is tilting and you probably barely see the top of my head. You see all this body here. And I don't want you guys seeing all my body. So anyway, I want to share with you guys um, this package that I received in the mail. The, um, the uh, night sweat came in this box here and I ordered it from Amazon. So I just want to show you what it looks like. So I've already slid it open and that's the way it looks packaged pretty neat comes with a receipt that for me it's kind of like a, a, a boot this is how it looks packaged like this blue and white and it says body armor night splint now I'm supposed to sleep with this at night. I'm not looking forward to this because I think it's a little uncomfortable. I mean, this is pretty big to be sleeping in and I've got a few minutes before I go in to my appointment. I just wanted to share this with you guys before I went in. It comes with some instructions. This is from Darko. Darko, so it shows you it has all of these different instructions <laughs> one two three four five on the back and then it has six and seven so that's how that is and that's how it looks now this part here this is where the the big toe goes see this little hole there I guess it's attached to these little grooves right here so the big toe comes sticks out right here and man this is not sponsored by the way I just want to share this with you guys and this is just the strap that holds the heel you know you can tighten it up you know adjust it to however your foot is if your foot is slim then you would open it up tighten it up like so so that that has that one that one and this one here for the foot part it also has one on the other side so you know the heel will go down in here somewhat like that this is where the heel sits and then the foot down in here so this is a velcro here I guess this is just to tighten it up or loosen it up however you know fit it to your foot so I'm going to see how this works at night oh boy this looks uncomfortable you guys doesn't it I know it does I guess I gotta sit here for about 5 10 15 minutes for this electrodes to work in the foot in the heel I should say so now that they have left I can remove my mask and when they come on back in here then I have to put my mask back on so and it gave me a little bell so my ankle is hurting right now because I it's up in position you know standing and it's just like sore And then so you pull on it right because you okay. do the stretch. how many times it's 10 of these 10 okay good well for about five seconds okay all right so the ones that you go stretch forward and then you stretch back you're gonna do 10 of those and then I'll show like you the side to side. Correct. Okay.
For these, you hold five seconds as well, okay? okay. When you will go forward, you hold. And then when you go back, you hold as well. Try not to rotate the knee, just your ankle. She had a different way where I was actually having a strap over it. Yeah, th that's another exercise. Oh, okay. Yes, so we're gonna do that one next. Uh, it's kinda hard to do that. Yes, it is. Knee. So the movement for these are not that much. Oh, okay. What we try to concentrate on is as this long is as you foot. feel the stretch, mm -hmm. then you're doing it correctly. I feel it more when I do it with that thing around it. And I think I had my legs straightened out when I did it. Yeah, with this one. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. another exercise. And up here. There we go. So you're going to pull? Good. Ten of these, okay? If you feel like it's too much, let me know. Okay. And then I'll loosen it a little bit. gonna go in okay good try not to rotate the knee okay, okay. just your foot and i'm gonna do it that way of course there's no yes so when you do it this way i have to move to the other side i'll show you that one now oh so we're just doing so this, this one you're okay. just going in okay. 10 times hold it five seconds yes okay <clears throat> I'd probably have to have my husband hold that because I don't know if I could do it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's better if someone helps you with mm -hmm. the with the bag. Yeah, okay. okay. Good. Yeah, that one doesn't feel as bad <laughs> as much of a workout. The other side. Just be careful with this one. You don't want it to slip and then so you're gonna point out good just point out only yes oops I'm sorry. is it okay to keep it like that it's usually we like keeping it here that way oh upper yeah i'll just keep my hand just in case I just want to see how to do it. Mm, okay. Okay, I have metros attached to my heel you probably can't see it now because it's all wrapped up and then there's a towel to keep the the warmth in there because there's a i guess a warm pack in there so it's wrapped up as you can see
right, guys, it's nighttime, and this is it. <laughs> you see my foot in this little uncomfortable boot thing, night splint. So I just wanted to show you how it looks. Um, you see my big toe, big old toe. <laughs> it's through that little hole there, and the straps are secure. Pretty much is one, two, three straps on either side. There you go, like that. And let me see if I can show you underneath the foot. I'm not sure. It wasn't easy putting this on either. It was very, um, it was hard. I thought I was gonna have to have my husband come in here and help me, but I managed. Um, this is the bottom of the foot, as you probably can tell. And I can't get too far into it because it's very uncomfortable to try to turn the foot over so here's the heel like i told you earlier it sits in this little little cradle nut type um area so that's how it looks so i'll be sleeping with this until whenever and i guess until things get better with the heel every single night oh boy wish me success you guys <laughs> and this here i can adjust it uh, let me see if i can do it because i usually i'll do things with my left hand but let me see oh gosh ah so if you want to loosen it up i guess you could put it oh boy this is not easy Ooh, you can put it in that little slit right there but i'm not sure what feels comfortable to me i should leave it there or go ahead and put it back here i guess it's okay so but that's it i just want to show show you what it looks like and then it's padded here so very soft and cushiony around so good night <laughs>